Hello everyone and welcome to TV Calibration with Darko. My name is Darko and in this video I will walk you through menus after calibration of Panasonic's 55CX680E Ultra HD TV for year 2015. So this is their mid-range model, it's 2D only, but regardless of that TV offers numerous controls for precise calibration and different viewing modes. So by default you are in normal and what you should do when you buy this TV is go to True Cinema because it offers the most precise picture out of the box. So without even copying any of these settings you are confident to watch precise images in True Cinema. But let's go deeper and try to adjust it even better. Backlight 45, this gives you around 200 nits, which is good setting for bright room environment. Contrast 80, brightness 0. No changes here, sharpness user can adjust this setting depending on his preferences. Adaptive backlight control, this is good for dark room watching because this is Panasonic's local dimming option but if you want consistent picture without white fluctuations then you should disable it. Going down to intelligent frame creation now this TV is Panasonic's mid-range and it offers only 200 Hz backlight motion rate so, as we expected, this TV will only give you motion interpolation, but it won't increase motion resolution. So this statement on the right, that it will make images smooth and clear, consider smooth correct and clear on series 7 and higher. So, for movies, this setting will change its name to 24p smooth film but basically the logic is the same. Going to advanced settings, here you see contrast control is off, color gamut at normal, white balance, two point settings are here, as you can see small adjustments, because white balance was very precise out of the box, and these are settings at 10% increments, so I'm going from 100 to 10%, I'll just rush through the settings, you can pause this video of course and go back and play with these settings. Okay, now let's go to color management, this TV offers settings for primary and secondary colors so these are settings for primary and now let's go to secondary colors hue and saturation is adjustable for cyan magenta and yellow okay jumping to gamma okay first uh, this tv offers bt1886 this is new gamma which is incorporated in many new this year's models. I've seen it already on LG's new lineup and also on Panasonic's. But you have to know that in order to have this new gamma selection, you have to turn on adaptive backlight control, meaning you have to turn on local dimming. Okay. Guess what? Gamma was very precise, so precise that we didn't need to change any of these individual detailed settings. As you can see, they're all at default value of 0. So for bright room, gamma 2.2 and brightness of around 200 nits. Going to options menu. Here you see that most settings are turned off, if you're a gamer, if you want to decrease input lag then you should turn game mode on and also check HDMI RGB range depending on the source. Screen settings, 
for Blu-ray content and other quality sources, turn over scan off. It's on by default and now what you will see what's going on. If you turn it on, you will lose part of the picture, you will also lose some of the sharpness of the image. So turn this setting off for quality content. Of course, once you adjust, for instance, HDMI 1, you want to copy settings to other inputs, you have this great control which will copy viewing mode and you define to which inputs. So, very nice, handy setting. Overall, good picture right out of the box, but after calibration, even more natural with well balanced colors and details. Of course, best performance is achieved if you watch Alter HD content. This is it. Thank you for watching. For any questions or comments, please leave them in area below. Bye!